John, uh, an impassive win tonight, and the place was going crazy at the end there. Yeah, the place was jumping, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, amazing to, to where we were when we came in here in June to be in a Scottish Cup semi-final. is absolutely a dream come true. And uh, it was great to see the fans throughout the game. They sang all the way through the game, and that's the atmosphere that we want. We want to bring this atmosphere here, you know, every week, every time we play, or every time we play, obviously. Tonight, it was uh, electric, and, uh, you know, Fair play to air. They came out the blocks. Thought they, they started the game much better than us. They were right on the front foot. They deservedly took the lead. A uh, good goal by Big Dipu Akinyemi. We didn't defend it so well. Uh, we knew he was a handful. We knew that he was capable of doing that. We didn't deal with it. And we were on the rocks a little bit because they've got a ball across the face of the goal. And again, the big fella could maybe have scored at the back post. But we grew into the game and Max took a, you know, a big part in the game. Started to show a bit of composure, started to get on the ball. Stephen got on the ball, Hendel got on the ball. A bit, you know, started to get more of the ball and, and build some attacks and get in behind them. And from getting in behind them and getting corner kicks, we had a great opportunity to score. Both Cole and Brad at the same move could have scored. And every corner kick we put in actually caused them, them problems. Uh, I felt that we defended our corner kicks extremely well. We, that was part of the way we picked the team. We had to put height in the team to deal with the threat of the height that uh, Air have got, you know. So that was a big part of the tactical changes that we made. We needed some more height in the team. The three players we put into the team, like Brad Mackay, Henderson and Wright, are all big players. So that was part of that. Uh, we've always, from, a point, from our point of view, management team, you know, you've got to look at every aspect. And, you know, we lost a goal the other night there from a corner kick and maybe we could have been like a taller team, but, you know, we wanted to make sure that we weren't going to done the night. The guys defended the box really well in these situations, which I'm delighted about. And, uh, you know, I thought them that last 15 minutes of the first half, last 20 minutes of the first half, gave us the footing to go out and start the second half the way we did. And I thought we dominated the start of the second half. And got a little break. Well, it's a handball, it's a handball. I'm not seeing it back, but it's, it's a penalty. Uh, Callum stuck it away well. And then we've got to thank Big Brian for a couple of great saves. Uh, two saves in the same attack, two brilliant saves. And we get a break and, uh, you know, they miss a penalty. But the guys showed great character and uh, we've used the subs. And uh, as has been happening for a, a good number of weeks, it didn't happen on Tuesday night, last Tuesday, but it happened tonight where Kais came on and he's uh, had a big contribution in the goal that we've got. And then, we've, again, we've got to, to see out the last, you know, 10 minutes or so of the game. I thought we did that, that very well. So, absolutely delighted. Very, very proud of the players. What they've, they've, they've achieved here is, is nothing short of a... You know, a dream, it's a dream, you know, I mean, not quite a miracle, but it's certainly a dream. Uh, and now we look forward to, to Hamden. Uh, both myself and, 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 and Billy Dodge will be delighted that we're, we're playing each other. We, we both want to try and avoid Celtic and Rangers to give ourselves the best chance to get there. I watched, like everyone else, on, on Friday night there, I thought Inverness were a different class. I thought they were really, really good against Kilmarnock. And Billy's got a lot of his players back now, and when he gets these players back, they, and, and Vanessa are a right good side. So I see them climbing the table between now and then. Uh, obviously, there's extra motivation for ourselves now that we've got a semi final to look forward to, but we want to try and keep our, our league forum going, you know, right to the end of the season, accumulate as many points as we possibly can get there, and uh, see where it takes us. Sometimes in cup competitions, with all due respect, a minnow will upset a, a bigger team by a bit of luck. But tonight, you must be delighted with the fact that on your second half performance especially, your team really deserved that result. Yeah, Lee Bullen has been very uh, complimentary towards us and, and he did actually say that. He felt that we, we deserved it. Yeah, I mentioned the little bits of breaks here and there. You know, they miss a penalty. It's the fine margins. But I think we showed we were a good football team. I think we, we matched air in every department. After that opening period where they were, they started really, really well. But after that, I thought we passed the ball well. I thought we showed that we're a good football team. And on tonight, showing you know we could certainly you know compete in the championship. But we need to get there first. So a lot of football to get played in that department. But yeah, yeah, delighted. Perfect way to bounce back after the last week and and give everyone a lift because we could see how much it meant to both the the players and the fans at the end of the game there. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, great character. The guys have bounced back. Yeah, I'm, I'm no doubt we had some doubters after Tuesday night, uh, as happens in football. But we're showing, again, coming back from being behind against a championship team. So, yeah, absolutely delighted. The fans were magnificent. Thank you very much for turning up in large, large numbers tonight. I know you enjoyed it. We've seen you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Hopefully, we're more, more, 
more nights and uh, and games like that to come. Just finally, of course, it's uh, Queen of the South away, I believe, on Saturday. Mm. Uh, very early, I know, especially with the, the jubilation after the result tonight, but your thoughts on that one? Well, it's a tricky place to go. Yeah, we did well early in the season down there. We've got a good win down there. And, you know, we've actually done well on the, the three occasions that we've played Queen's. So we'd also sell down and we'll get prepared for that towards the end of the week. And, uh, yeah, yeah, as I said, yeah, we want to try and keep our league forum going. We've got a new manager in since we last played them. You know, so uh, we'll, we'll we'll do our analysis and we'll be ready to go come, come Saturday. It'll be a difficult away game, but we want to try and keep our league forum going. The players have got now the motivation to try and keep in the team for a, for a semi-final and to, to, you know, to try and keep our league forum going and get as, accumulate as many points as we possibly can. Well, John, many congratulations on a fantastic result tonight and as always, that's your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.